All right, hail and welcome everyone to this episode of Midgard Musings, wherein I review the March. Uh, All right, hail and welcome everyone to this episode of Midgard Musings. Today I'm going to be, be reviewing the month March. Uh, March. Hail and welcome everyone to this week's. <laughs> Alright, hail everybody, and welcome to Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse, and if you aren't familiar, I host a weekly video here on the channel wherein I discuss various Norse heathenry related topics, things that may strike my interest or fancy at the time. If you're into that sort of thing, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below, and if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you click the bell notification so that way you are notified every time I upload new content. Uh, today's video is going to be a review video for Norseblood.com. This is the month of March crate review. I've done a couple reviews for Norseblood here uh, over the last several months. If you go up here to the cards that are going to be annotated up in the top uh, corner of the video, you will see some linked content throughout this video. I did a review, I think it was the September uh, of 2018, uh, their crate for September and then I did January a couple of months ago. So today, we're going to be reviewing the month of March crate. Really fun stuff, guys. I love this company. They are based out of Australia, and they have gotten better over the last several times that I've done reviews. Um, in the last couple of uh, items that they've been sending out uh, in their monthly crates, or in their, excuse me, their bi-monthly uh, crates, um, they've gone upwards from just sending a few items to sending now five items or more. Um, got some really cool stuff to review today. Um, if you are interested in checking out what Norseblood.com has to offer, please head down into the description below and you will see a link for Norseblood.com uh, and all the information that you would need to be able to become a supporter of their services, subscribe to their crate services, all that kind of fun stuff. So, without further ado, let me show you guys what we've got in the month of March's crate. I love this crate. All the crates come in glossy cardboard boxes, just like you're seeing right now. Um, it's, it's pretty standard, but let's reveal what we've got on the inside. So, first of all, they send out cool pamphlets like this. Uh, it'll tell you the month that it is, uh, the year, and on the inside is going to be the details of the contents of your box. On the back side of the pamphlet is going to be their contact information. It's standard, it comes in every one of their crates. I'm not going to open up the pamphlet because it's going to reveal what I'm about to review. Alright, so the first thing that I want to review is this nifty, kind of cool, um, I actually haven't actually opened it yet, but it's a greeting card. All right. It's got a neat little uh, Norse helmet on here, a raven, a sword. It's a greeting card with an envelope. So if you have something that you want to send to somebody with a little, you know, neat artwork on the front, that's kind of cool. A um, little heartfelt thing right there. It's just a standard cardboard paper greeting card. Uh, nothing on the inside, as far as I can tell. And uh, so, yeah, that's one cool item. Um, the second cool item is this keychain. Actually, let me back up a bit. The keychain is right here. I opened up the wrong thing. The keychain is a wolf pendant keychain. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it is stainless steel. I know that because of the um, description on the pamphlet. All this is stainless steel. We got a really nice um, wolf imagery on the front side and on the back side of it is ravens circling all the way around, right? So that's really cool. Um, the clasp to get it is really simple and really easy. It's just a pressure, kind of spring-loaded functionality of it. You don't have that like where you have to pinch 
a piece of metal apart to get it around your keys. It's just a quick snap, easy to go, boom, done, one and done. So that's really nice. Well done with the Wolf keychain and the Ravens on the back end, or the back side of that. That's really nice. Uh, item number three is a very, very beautiful, again, stainless steel. All of their jewelry, guys, is stainless steel. Um, here we have a bear paw pendant on a beautiful stainless steel, thick stainless steel chain. Let me try to show you guys. We've got a beautiful bear paw pendant. And then on the back side is the actual bear face that you got right there. You know, so this is kind of a standard, maybe 18 inch long chain, give or take. Um, I don't have a very thick neck. I got about a 16 or 17 inch neck. Um, but as you can see, as it falls, uh, kind of falls to the middle of the solar plexus region, um, if you were to just clasp it on the ringlet that is provided here. Really nice piece, beautiful bear paw, bear image on the back side or reverse side. So if you have the Berserker in your family, or if you are one yourself, this would be a cool uh, piece of jewelry to own. Next, we have a really nice authentic leather bracelet with a wolf icon on the front side of it. Uh, there are a couple of different uh, sizing snaps, you know, so if your wrist is a little bit thicker, perhaps, um, or narrower, you've got the option to put it there. I've got these leather bracers on, so this may not be an accurate uh, you know, uh, view of things uh, or, or sizing, I suspect. I don't have very big wrists, but I'm able to, on the front side of my wrist, you know, on the very front end of my wrist anyway, is put the wolf bracelet on there. Uh, it's very, very attractive. It is actual leather. Um, so there you go. That's a really cool piece. I think that would be great for any of the Ufen, Ufenar, uh types out there that are attracted to the wolves, that sort of thing. Really nice piece from uh, Norseblood.com on the bracelet. Uh, next we've got two shot glasses of the same exact thing. We've got some nice uh, glass etching of a Valknut on one portion of the shot glass and on the other portion we've got a beautiful Norse font that says Norse blood. You get two of these shot glasses, they are one and the same exact thing. So you can keep one, gift one, you've got a nice set here if you want, if you're into collecting shot glasses like myself, I have a nice shot glass collection. So these will become a regular part of libaceous consumptions um, in my haul. So these are really nice, it's obviously, they're glass, beautiful you know, glass etching work with the Volknut and uh, Norse blood etched on the other side. Really nice pieces. So then we have the Coup de Gras, my favorite uh, item in this month's crate is this beautiful knit stitched uh, toboggan or beanie, whatever you want to call it, right? Fits wonderfully on the average size head, and uh, we've got the, uh, I believe it's the tricorn, uh, Odin's horn, uh, on either side. And the runes on this hat is Otala, Dagas, Isa, and Naudis, which will spell Odin. So you got a really, really cool knit beanie, or toboggan, or cap, whatever you want to call it, with Odin on it. This is going to be my new best piece of, of, of apparel, I guess you could say, in the colder months. This is going to be my favorite thing. I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot when it comes to the colder months. I love it. It fits well. It keeps my head warm. It's beautiful. Love it. So you got the nice bright red embroidery on here of Odin in Elder Food Dark Runes, the tricorn uh, embroidered on there as well. So guys, that is the uh, month of March's crate. Like I said before, the pamphlet does include all the details about it here, right? So everything is included as far as what you got. 
tells you what a little bit about things. It tells you the Fenrir keychain, gives you you know a little bit of history about Fenrir, the Fenrir, the Fenrir uh, bracelet, all that fun stuff. And it's kind of a glossy piece of paper, so you know they they, they take the time to make this a really nice, uh, good quality uh, experience all the way around. So guys, that is my review. I highly recommend NorseBlood.com. If you're into the aesthetic of Norse heathenry, if you want to get good quality pieces of jewelry, some nice apparel, um, various things that you can, you know, have fun with, with your friends, or maybe gift to somebody, whatever, um, the subscription cost is, uh, is all going to be down here in the description um, when you click on the NorseBlood.com link that's available down there. I encourage you to check it out if any of what you see today is something you'd be interested in. Like I said, they have increased their items from where you before you would just get maybe three items to now you're getting five items. And if you count the fact that you've got two shot glasses in this month, that's technically six items because there's there's two. So you got the necklace, you've got the greeting card, you've got the keychain, you've got the hat, and then you've got two shot glasses, which is six items, right? If you want to count the, the shot glasses as a set, that may be five, but I count it as two separate items. So that's technically six items. Wonderful quality, wonderful craftsmanship from the stuff. Um, you're supporting heathens uh, when you do this. Definitely check them out. Go down in the description below, check them out. And... Sign up for your own Norse Crate subscription services. They have a bunch of different options available. If you want to do it every uh, two months, if you want to do it twice a year, if you want to do it once a year, I think they got a whole bunch of different options down there. Really, really awesome stuff. I love it. I think you'll love it too. So please check out NorseBlood.com. Follow the links down in the description below for their Facebook. All their social media links are going to be down there. Check them out. Follow them. And there you guys go. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss anything else that I put out here on this channel related to Norse heathenry, make sure you click the bell for notifications. All that is going to be in the end screen when you see it pop up here. Tune in next Sunday. This coming Sunday, I should say. The next video that I'll be doing on Sunday will be a storytelling of the uh, fetching of the cauldron, Himskvida. Uh, it's, it's a story in the Poetic Ed. I'm going to be offering my own twist on it. It'll be uploaded here on the channel on Sunday night at some point. So please, like I said again, become a subscriber to the channel. Have bell notifications turned on so that way you never miss anything that I upload. Thank you all for watching today. Please check out NorseBud.com. I don't think you'll regret it. Appreciate all your support. Hail, and I'll see you all in the next video.